Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with a 1212 AD battle for you. Um, in the famous battle, Battle of Agincourt, on a custom map which is the Battle of Agincourt. And we've got cool little uh, like stakes here and we've got like the marshland because it's all supposed to be raining. But it's apparently a very bright, nice sunny day. So um, we'll get this underway and start play and we'll show you... Um, the units basically that uh, we've got. So we've got English foot knights here, um, and they look they look very good. Although the look at them, they're assorted emblems and stuff like that. Not very many uh, three lions though on there, so I'm a bit disappointed by that. Um, retinue longbows here. These guys are going to be the saviors of the battle uh, of the battle. They are, were famous in history for basically saving the British. Well, the English should say not the British. We've got some uh, cheap English spears back here. With their um, lines and fleur de lis showing off um, the claim that the F English crown has on the French one. And we have some more. Um, these are like English foot knights, but they're just like um, with like almost with like pole arm weapons here. And then we've got um, the general's bodyguard, which in this scenario is Henry V. Look at him. Look at that guy. Look at his crown. He's look ready. He's a bit too old, I think, for uh, Henry at this time, but. Um, it's basically, basically him. And anyway, we've got a huge French army over here, massing over. And already the lo English longbows are laying loose. Let's have a look at these guys. Loose! Hit those cavalrymen. They're, those gendarmes over there are going to be the uh, the main worry. Because that's what the French brought a lot of. If you don't know the history of Agincourt, um, basically the French charge a load of cavalry, as they're about to do now, it looks like, anyway, at um, an English position. Um, in a lot of marshy ground and basically turns into a huge boggy fight and actually no they're going to stop stop short and just get shot at by um with uh with stop short at the stakes and just get shot at that's what i was trying to say um so that's just making it very nice and easy look at this and here they come here they come they're finally moving the ai is very dumb oh and they've already cl collided here so this can only end well so let's move in boys and attack and kill them all so I'm going to have to do some microing, unfortunately. There is going to be a lot of that. Um, keep charging, boys. Let's just get you to move back a little bit. Because I don't really like you that near. Thank you. Um, and then keep firing. Yeah, just keep firing in there. Yeah, that works for me. Oh, and they're trying to get in behind my arches. Excellent. Not what I want to see. So now we're going to send up the pole arms, basically the support. Uh, not like that, though. Like that, it's better. Um, Spears, stop chasing these guys down. Actually, no. Spears, keep chasing these guys down. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, they've broken through. Um, we might need to send another unit over here. I am just going to pause it ever so quickly. Um, this is not usual, but uh, the music is really loud. Um, what am I looking for sound? Thank you. Uh, master, just, just turn down. I don't really want to hear. That is very loud. Very loud. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, let's get on with it. Let's see what happens. There we go. That's better. So now we have basically an entire a huge brawl. Um, we're gonna probably, oh, probably need to send in more guys. There's a lot of breaking going on over here. It's become very chaotic very quickly. Um, send in these guys. Keep sending in troops. Just fire everything down here. Uh, is these infantry trying to break through? They are. Uh, actually, no, they're they're, they're failing. They're. Badly failing, so just pull the archers to the back. Um, General, go and kill those gendarmes in the rear because they're going to cause a lot of havoc otherwise. Um, now we can just kind of uh, send those guys in because why not? We might as well, might as well just thicken the lines up. Um, you soldiers probably could do with actually attacking, getting the attack order because there's a lot of you not firing or fighting. Um, and everything else just needs to keep firing there. I'm also just going to change the. the uh, sound I can't like now oh wrong one very much wrong one I am so sorry about this music down but master up there we go I should have done this before but it's a uh, 
only been a problem for me now. There we go. Right. Now we can hear the the horrors of war. See these guys cut down and killed. So I think the king in the rear has killed these gendarmes off. He can just kind of like do his thing now, stay there. Um, there's now a, a brawl over this breach here. Um, I'm going to put some archers to support them. Archers, sniper that general if you can. There are two French armies here. One to represent the like the Marshal of France because he had like an was basically one commander. And then you also have the Dauphin of France who is another commander. And at this point, you can see this is a small choke point, and uh, which is what they did in history, and they just got um, all of the well, and the uh, and the English archers are now just fire down and kill these guys. Look at all these fleur de lises. There's so many of them, and oh gosh, the fire coming in. They're also on heavy shot, so for some reason, when it hits like the water, it seems like a small explosion going off. It's quite funny, actually. Um, but yes, so we are base we are nearly. We've nearly killed them all. Well, I say nearly killed them all. We've barely killed any of them. This is a touch, um, a tip of the iceberg, as they say. Keep killing, trying to kill that king. Oh, he's nearly dead, actually. Let's, let's actually finish him off. Look at this. Yep, just like that. In that volley, he just died. So his bodyguard is just basically, well, just a bodyguard. It's just that. Um, right. Oh, that was got wrecked. That. Oh gosh, look at that. See what I mean? They just like it's like a explosion when those guys um, when those arrows hit. Oh gosh, that ma that massacred the. Uh, uh, General's bodyguard. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are hard today. Words are hard. Um, archers, can you... Well, you're not that near, actually. You could be You could be a lot nearer. Um, who, who are you firing at? You're firing at guys back there. Can you fire at the crossbows? Do get rid of the crossbows. Um, and then let's just send in these guys. So let's... So yeah, unfortunately, um, I am playing this one live because I've had a quite a few problems with the replays. Um, this is like my third or fourth attempt at trying to get the replay, uh, to get it to work, the replays. Um, and they just keep crashing. So unless you, and I've done the, like, the whole deployment thing and not, and not deploying and, and deploying and whatever. I've done it all and uh, still no, no use. So maybe it's this map, it might just be this map. Um, it is a modded map um, for a separate mod. So that might be the case. Um, hopefully that is it, and it's just a one-off. But if not, then it's not. Um, can you shoot these gendarmes that are just really close to us, actually? Anyway, we now can peel around. This is definitely not um, like history. We're able to peel around as the English and cut these guys down. And I'm going to send the general out. The general could go out and uh, probably... Actually, no, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of cavalry still around. But we can peel around, probably kill quite a lot of these guys now, break a lot of them. Look at that, look at the breaking. Oh, actually, my general might be needed over here just as morale boost. Yeah, they're gonna be ne he's going to be needed just as a morale boost. Rally! Rally, man! Just charging the, charging the general, try and break these guys. You look at these men, they're doomed. It's so loud in here. It's the horrors of war. You've got to hear it. That's why we put the... Uh, look at all the blood. War is hell. But it's fun to watch. General's bodyguard now in, riding down people. Look, those armoured horses, I would not want to meet some of these. Here come a load more armoured horses. The gendarmes are back. They've rallied their troops. The gendarmes. A scary looking unit. This might... Man and horse covered in armor. Um, start shooting these guys back here. Look at the breaking. Look at all that breaking. That is amazing. Right, let's send these guys over. And you start focusing down these guys here, please. We have... Kind of, oh, we've got rallied men. Um, hit these... Kill these guys, please. Oh, they broke instantly. Wow. Gendarmes. This is a fresh unit of gendarmes, and they broke instantly. Um, wow. That is... I mean, the battle is probably won. Like, look at the amount of... It's not a massive difference in, like, numbers. I didn't want to make it too overpowered so that the English didn't have a chance. That was a bit unfair, I was thinking, but... Maybe I should have given them more. 
Uh, maybe giving the French more. It could have. Maybe if I do another Agincourt, I will give them more. Um, sh keep shooting the archers. No one cares about archers. The men are broken? That's not on. We basically won the battle. Why would you break now? Anyway, let's quickly have a look at these guys over here. This small fight that's going on. The last French general is alive over here, and he is, uh, well, he's got a cool uniform, to be fair. This is an earlier period. Um, French king, I decided just to make it to differentiate the two. But, um, yeah, just just kill these guys. Come on. The gendarmes got massacred. I mean, there's quite a... Look at how many there are dead. There's, like, hardly any infantry dead. But, yeah, the battle is probably won. Agincourt, as in history, is an English victory it's going to be. Um, focus down these arches. Like, they are really annoying me. Um, English can go in here, please. Run these guys down. I don't even care. Um, hold your fire and shoot the gendarmes. Oh my goodness. I may have got so much friendly fire there. How did I not get friendly fire? I don't know. But we, the battle is won. Agincourt is a victory. And now we shall end and have a look at the end results. End the battle. And see what we killed. So look at all these. Look at the kills. I mean, the archers actually didn't do that many kills. Like, for us. In the end, they didn't kill that many. They weren't... They didn't even use all their ammunition up. This... It was probably actually the quickest and easiest of all the battles uh, that I fought or attempts I did for this battle. Um, but I mean, yeah, look at the English foot knights. They all got over 200 kills. Um, these other English foot knights, these early ones, also doing very well and getting like at least over 100 kills. That was very good. The king, Henry V, almost getting 100 kills. That was very good of him. And then their king getting no kills. Um, they're John Darm's doing okay, the Arch's doing okay. I mean, everything for them just broke really quickly. I know I, like, leveled my guys up, but, I mean, the numbers should have allowed them to overwhelm me, to be honest. Like, their cavalry was just no use. I mean, the map probably didn't help them that those stakes were there. They probably would have gone round them otherwise, but they didn't. <laughs> anyway, put it like that. Um, and then the other ones, yeah, very much the same. And that, neither King of France got any kills. That is disappointing. So, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that, Please leave a like and subscribe for more 1212. If you want to do some uh, multiplayer battles, I'm more than happy to. I love this mod. It is amazing. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get the replay sorted out so we don't have, so you can we can watch more in depth of it because I'd really love that. Um, if like I said, if you guys have any tips on that, please let me know. And anyway, but yeah, until next time, guys. Bye for now.